Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're excited. Today will be a very interesting episode. We will make a smart contract of a seminar. Uh, we can set the entrance fee and we will have persons that will be able to register to this seminar and also they can cancel their subscription. That will change their status and they, they will get back 80% of the value they have transferred to for the entrance. We'll start with our Pragma Solidity, Solidity Carrot 0.4.0 hmm. this will be like this <laughs> okay and we will create our contract seminar this contract seminar will have a struct a struct is like a class but it's not a class because it's not an object it just has value so we will have a person and this person will have a variable string called name it will have a uiint called age and it will have a bool Call active. <clears throat> so this is all the information of the person. And about the contract, we want to have a UI int that we will have the fee, and also an unsigned integer loss that will have a hard coded value of 80 because we will have the 80% of the, the entrance of the persons that cancel the subscription. We will have the 20 and they will have back the 80. And now we'll have a, this dictionary mapping. We will map the address of the people that are in subscribed to this seminar and it will return a person because the person will be the one that will be here and it will be this like a list or an array of uh, attendance. attendance. <clears throat> so we will have a function for the registration. Registration, it will accept a string value of value underscore name and a UI int of age. We will not pass the bool value because this will be active as well when they register. And it will be payable because they need to pay for the registration. We will create a mes uh, if message.value equals equals fee because we need to, ch to check if they are transferring the same amount of money of the fee. Otherwise, it will throw an error. This is very secure way to do it because if they transfer more money, they will have all the money back and if they transfer less money they will have all the money back because the trans the it will be never executed <clears throat> we will update our attendance uh, attendance are we query attendance of the address message.sender that's the address of, of the person that is asking for this contract and we will create a struct person make it like this and we will have the values here. So the name will be underscore name, the age will be underscore age, and active will be equals to true. That's it. Then we will have, I will put a lot of enters so we can move this. Then we will have another function, set registration. That way, the, the creator of the contract will be able to set a a registration fee it will be an assigned integer to five six and it will be fee and this will change fee will be equals to underscore fee and lastly but not least we will make the function for cancel the subscription cancel registration and it will have no value because we know that it will be executed for the message dot sender we will have the attendance and we will ask for the message dot sender the other of the person that is asking this active will be set to false and we will transfer him the money back message.sender is the address of the person that we need to return the money and we will transfer an amount of money how much money will we transfer to them it will be the fee times the loss that means times 80 and divided by 100 because we want to be an 80 percent so here each semicolon name here is comma not semicolon <laughs> comma okay now we are ready to go we will copy this contract and we will execute it on the ethereum wallet for making it more interesting contract deploy new contract by our employer here is where i have a lot of error and i will create the contract i will make it faster and i want to deploy the seminar contract is the only one seminar deploy now it will ask for my password 
Okay, self transaction. Now we have to wait for the block to be mined, a new block to be mined, to have our smart contract. So, <coughs> sorry, here we have zero of 12 confirmations. We need to have at least one confirmation for our contract to be active. One, so we need to set the registration fee. I will go to contract seminar, pick a contract, set registration fee, and I will put 0 0.5 ether. That's a five with 17 zeros. Five. That's very boring. And it will change my number since it will have a cost. It's very important to copy this number because this will be the actual value that we will have as a fee. So we will execute, <coughs> sorry, it will ask for our password. Send transaction, we need for the block to be mined. And once it's mine, we will register our first user, we will check its status, that it should be active, then we will cancel our sub subscription, we will check that we have the money back, and we will see uh, if it's active or not. So we need to mine the next block, should be done like now. <laughs> so we go to wallets, and it's done. Contract. Seminar, register. We will register Nicolas, age 31. The employer is the one that has money, zero point, and all that numbers. Execute. <coughs> and you can see that it will work, but if I change this seven to an eight, execute, it will not work because it, it must be the exact amount. Execute. So now that we have registered Nicolas to this seminar, we will wait to the block to be mined. And when it's mined, we will see if it's active or not. So we have it's ready. You can see that the seminar now have money. 0 0.4999 blah, blah, blah. We need to copy my address for checking them at the dictionary. Contracts, seminar. And I will put the address here. You can see Nicolas. 31 active, yes. I will cancel the registration of Nicolas. This is the employer. I don't have to send any other. I need to put my password. And once the block is mined, we will be able to have our money back and it will not be active. So employer has 30.44 and our contract has 0 0.5. Now you can see it changed. 30.84 and our seminar has 0 0.1 <coughs> sorry so we will ask for the same user nicolas 31 active no hope you like it will make much more more complex smart contracts than before if we will continue creating more of this kind of contract instead of the previous tutorial hope you like it make a comment down below in case you want something more special hope you like it bye guys